Hello and welcome, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. In the show this week, a brilliant six-year-old shipper from Florida, piloted by world-class jockey Julian Leperu, roughs up the Mute Mile field at Jamaica's Kimanis Park, where the glitz among the patrons was perfectly aligned to the rich occasion. In Barbados, veteran jockey Ricky Walcott aces the BTBA Breeders' Classic at the Garrison Savannah and another Stewards' Cup win at TNT Santa Rosa Park for champion trainer John O'Brien. Our opening story, the Mute Mile from Jamaica. There's been no horse race ever in Caracom as rich as this one. 150,000 US dollars of the purse and it's a 15-horse field for Saturday's Mute Mile with the betting fancying Jamaica's Horse of the Year, Atomica, with champion jockey Dane Dawkins aboard and the US bred Roth Entry, an eight-time winner in Florida, racing in Jamaica for the first time with US-based French jockey Julian Laparu riding. There's the inside half of the field, number two, Blue Vinyl, a late scratch, the main contenders among that group number one, She's My Destiny, last month's Gold Cup winner, the 2022 Gold Cup winner, Mahogany in the four box, and number five, I Am Fred, these are three, all at six to one odds. Number 10, Atomica, and number 15, Rough Entry, both at five to two odds, but Rough Entry was the marginal favorite for Florida-based Jamaican trainer, Rohan Crichton. This year's surprise derby winner, Ability, also had good betting support at 6-1 to one odds. Here's ace commentator Brian Rickman with the race call. They're off for the second running of the Mute Mile. As expected, rough entry goes for that lead. The three-year-old Ability in the green with a red cap races out wide. Charging through, that's Mamma Mia in the white cap, and Mamma Mia now shows good speed and has that lead on the run down the back stretch, racing toward the six. Mamma Mia out in front. She's my destiny racing right there on the rail as they wake their way now. Runaway Algo and Mahogany right up with those. Rough entry hidden from view, racing out wide of horses. Mojito the Grey races up next. Ability on the outside. I am Fred as they leave the five. In behind those, that's American Tap. Atomica has a lot of work to do along with Is That a Fact? They are joint at the hip. Money Miser races up next as they go charging now inside the last half of a mile. Perfect Brew left toward the back of the field and the Great Duke will be running late as usual as they charge toward the final three in the Mute Mile. It's the Philly Mamma Mia. She's brave on that lead. Rough entry now sent in chase by Leperu as they're about to arrive at the 516th. Watchability closing in in the green silks. Mahogany is also bubbling to the boil, but they're into the lane and still they have not been able to head Mamma Mia here. Now is rough entry and rough entry grabs the lead. Mamma Mia falters down against the rail. Ability is wound up for run, but it is rough entry and Julian Leperu. This is the Mute Mile and rough entry and Julian Leperu. Peru begin to streak away from them. Inside the final 16th, it seems to be all over. Rough entry, the foreign invader, and Julian Leperu take the second running of the Mute Mile. Rough entry makes a mockery of what was built a fiercely competitive Mute Mile. Leperu, first time aboard the horse in a race, has no challengers in deep stretch en route to a massive win. Disappointment for the fancied Atomica who lost her rider approaching the home turn. The winning time of 1 minute 38 seconds flat eclipses excessive forces, 1 minute 41 seconds win in the inaugural staging last year at the Mojie Mile stakes record. This was one of two winners ridden on the afternoon by Leperu. Also Jamaican trainer Crichton's biggest win with rough entry and both men knew they had a great shot coming to Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, all the replays from Gulfstream Park. Uh, never rode him, but rode for the trainer, Ryan, over there at Gulfstream. So now very confident with the horse. Uh, I think my only question was the distance, see if he could get the distance, but he obviously did great today. Elated, <laughs> elated. What a great ride. I wanted the, the guys at the barn did a fantastic job. Coming out of quarantine, it was tough, but uh, the horse handled it well. And I tell you, I was very confident. The six-year-old horse, Rough Entry, scores his ninth win 
and Richie's career triumph in the Mutia Mile as the 5-2 favourite over the Derby winner Ability at 6-1 odds. Mama Mia at long odds of 44-1 ran stoutly for third. Rough entry wins by seven lengths for groom Raymond Irving and an owner's group that includes trainer Crichton. Saturday's Motia Mile Day secondary feature was the chairman's plate over nine furlongs and 25 yards. And Leperu in the yellow silks was a front runner down the backstretch aboard Atlantic Convoy, but about to lose the lead. Atlantic Convoy out in front, Neo Star is racing in second and now cutting right into that lead. Further and beyond, staring at them from a close-up third. Miniature Man and Cistern Treasure race next as they quicken up now, leaving the half-mile marker. The head cornerstone needs to find five and a half lengths to get to them as they leave the 7-16th. Reigns will now let loose and ask to go. Sunset Silhouette is on the reverse. Baby-like racing on the outside of an improving Sunny T and Chippy and Tech Punt at the back ask for more as they come inside the final five. 16th, they're about to come into the top of the lane, and a near star holds the lead. Further and beyond in the yellow silks now will try to close. The head cornerstone has made eye catching progress. It's near star now under the pump and being driven to the max inside. They race toward the final furlong, and it is a near star out in front. Here is the head cornerstone. Watch the great Rainsville on the outside, but still near star is strong and full of pluck inside the final 16th. It is near star driven to the max. Rainsville now gets going late. Neo Star under pressure being driven to the max. It's close between Neo Star Rainsville and the head corner stone in between them. A thrilling finish with Richie Azan's Rainsville under a perfectly timed ride by Tevin Foster. Getting the narrow win a third for the afternoon for Foster. This is the fourth win this year for Rainsville and a second in a row. As a 4 to 1 bet, Rainsville wins by a neck over the 45 to 1 outsider, Neo Star with the head corner stone only a neck further behind in third in a tight three-way finish for the chairman's plate. Rainsville clocked 1 minute 58 seconds flat for 9 furlongs and 25 yards. Last Thursday, Barbados celebrated its 57th anniversary of independence and the Barbados Stiff Club staged a night racing card that had 10 events including the BTBA Breeders Classic over 9 furlongs. 10 runners faced the starter in the 9 furlong run. Former Triple Crown winner People's Champ was the favourite but near the back of the field, here is Dean Springer who picks up the commentary heading for the home stretch. They've done 6 and 1, 18 and 1. They're past the departure boat and head towards the two full on pole. Uh, Indelible has researched to take the lead up and she's in front from Mikal. The two fillies duke it out. Undisputed is next. Supermodels run has flattened off and there are no more turns. And Indelible has the lead, but here's Undisputed. It's Indelible and has. Disputed, they come together in a clash of wills and undisputed is going to go on to win it and she wins it now. Under Ricky Walcott's confident ride, undisputed wins the BTBA Breeders Classic by a length and a quarter for owners Fearsome Foursome and trainer Andrew Nunes. The six-year-old gelding getting his second win in four starts this year. Undisputed as the 4 to 1 second favourite, topping another 4 to 1 bet, indelible for the win, clocking 1 minute 55 seconds for 9 furlongs on the garrison tooth, and was one of three winners on the evening for jockey Ricky Walcott. Finally, now to Trinidad and Tobago Santa Rosa Park, where the Stewards Cup was Saturday's main event. Champion trainer John O'Brien had five of the ten starters for the sixth furlong sprint including the favourite Crown Prince and his undefeated 2023 Triple Crown winner in the headlines. In the com box, here is John Rupert with a call leaving the backstretch. The race up towards the far turn and it's C'est La Vie is the leader. Marvel Vigor right there in second. In the headlines, goes well in third spot. Then comes Super Bird. Soka Harmony is starting to make some forward momentum. After Soka Harmony, I can see that's top of the game making some headway. Crown Prince. Princess Aruna is back to the tail of the field as they come out from the far turn. 
It's Sela V, the leader. Sela V is, is the leader in the headlines in second spot. Marvel Vigor is along the inside. Then comes Just Exhale into the home stretch. They come. And it's Sela V bringing them there. In the headlines is there. Soka Harmony is erupting on the grandstand side. And here she comes in her challenge. Sela V is holding on. But here is Soka Harmony who is coming away clear. And Soka Harmony is going to give Brian Bujram Singh a victory. Yes, Soka Harmony has won it. Fresh from their October Caribbean Champions Stakes win, jockey Brian Budram Singh and the Philly Soka Harmony linking up again for an even bigger victory. They score here in the Stewart's Cup by a length and a quarter at 8 to 5 odds over stablemate Crown Prince, the favourite, giving trainer John O'Brien a fourth Stewart's Cup win in the last seven years. We've been at the track covering the sport of kings. Check us out again next week for another edition.